Yes, everyone. Good evening, and some of you, good morning. Welcome to our session on recording and filming guidelines for graded musical examinations 2023, held by Notes and Chords School of Music in association with Trinity College London and Rock School London. Yes, so as you can see on the screen, this is a step by step guideline on how to record your performance examinations at home. You have to go through this very carefully. And we, for some students, you might have done this before and you might have gone through the examination process, but there are a lot of new students uh, who are completely new to this scenario. And that's why I am uh, going through it once again. There are a few changes this time, but not a lot of changes. All right, so let's dive into this. Yes, so as you can see, how to go about uh, filming your examinations. I hope almost all of you are prepared with your three pieces and scales for some singers. It's just three pieces alone. You don't have to go through technical work, exercises and things like that. For those people who have completed your performance, you will have to ensure optimal conditions if you are recording your performance at home, your candidate, I mean, candidate has to have the assistance of their parents and should have a well-lit space. <clears throat> it is super important for the candidate to face a light source and avoid having bright light positioned behind them. You know, it blurs out the whole video and that's why the light source should be faced towards the candidate's face and not in the opposite direction. And it is essential for, the, uh, for you to select a room that is free from excessive background noise and distractions, because that is super important in an examination scenario. Moving on to the next slide. Now, these are some of the steps to follow after you have finished preparations and after you have finished all uh, formalities regarding the grade examinations, the first steps that first step that you have to follow is filming can be done using a high quality smartphone. You don't have to have a DSLR camera or any sorts of high end camera. You can do it on a tablet, iPad, or a smartphone, iPhone, any of your devices at home. It is recommended to use a tripod for camera stability. Uh, if a tripod is not available or if you don't have a tripod or if you are skeptical about investing in a tripod, keep it on a stable surface and record your performance throughout the examination. And please, as, like last time, there were some students um, who shared their videos while some, uh, I mean, uh, parents were holding their um, smartphone cameras and they were taking the performance uh, I would encourage you not to do that because uh, an examiner don't doesn't like uh, a shaky video so that can lead to syllabus infringement sometimes especially for keyboard and guitar performers singing is okay but for keyboard and guitar performers please see that you keep your camera on a stable surface always Three, position your camera at the candidate's eye level performance and ensure an unobstructed view of the performance for the examiner. Please see that there are no obstructions in the way. They should have a clear view. And for keyboard players, it is super important uh, that both hands should be seen while performing and both hands, uh, both hands and feet for some piano players, you use your pedals. Yes, so both hands and feet should be uh, visible. And uh, for guitar players, uh, your both hands and the book has to be seen. That is also important for piano players and keyboard players. Uh, for singers, uh, you can face the camera and uh, your books have to be seen as well. Fourth point, 
the submitted performance video must be of a single continuous take without any editing or merging of separate takes now this is very 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 important you cannot have several videos merged together or stuck together you have to go in one take trinity college as well as rock school london encourages you to do the same as that's the norm these days so it's it's a performance it's a live performance so we in an online scenario uh, what the examination boards try to do is make it as close to having an original performance so that the candidate has to play three pieces together without any uh, cuts or breaks in between so as far as possible do not send me a video that is merged edited or paused in between or have any sorts of editing whatsoever and number 5 for trinity college examinations alone books should be presented and should be visible in front of the candidate while filming uh, but they should not block the view of candidate's face to avoid syllabus infringement as you all know um, london based examinations that is trinity college as well as rock school london don't take any sort sort of uh, id proof or any kinds of identity because of a rule that is existing uh, in uk so please see that you don't obstruct a face of the candidate while showing the uh, books on a stand see that the candidate's face is visible you can have a stand in front of you this is for vocalists especially you can hand to have a stand in front of you and keep it below the eye level all right now moving on to angles for shooting how uh, you can shoot the videos for your examinations at home yes as you can see here are some of the examples on how to shoot the video at home if you have an original book yes the first picture shows one of our candidates holding her book uh, this is for the vocals examinations yes so this is the first thing that you have to do this is for all candidates including guitars keyboards piano violin all instruments people who are attempting trinity college london's examination should hold their book up show the front page as well as the back side of the book before attempting your performance i hope i'm clear i'm going to repeat that once more you have to hold up your book show it onto the camera for at least 5 seconds both the front and the back side to show that you have an authentic or an original copy and then you can start performing the second picture you can see a candidate performing uh, and you can see that both her hands are visible both left and right and most of the time um and this is especially the last year's video i've got a mirror image that is candidates may use uh the front facing camera for the examinations the selfie camera for their examination and this can result in a mirror image video that is your left hand can be seen as a right hand and the right hand can be seen as your left hand that video cannot uh be uploaded and that can cause syllabus infringement and that can cause trouble so see that this particular view is visible or the opposite angle can also be good the other angle can also be good but always stick on to this particular view where the left hand and the right hand is visible plus the book the face of the candidate etc all right and now you can see an example of a candidate attempting a guitar examination as you can see the book is visible both his right hand and left hand can be seen clearly for a guitar player uh it can be till his knee level that's okay don't have to show the whole body moving on to the next slide 
So you can see an example of a student performing a rock school London's ukulele examination. That's a sample on how you can position your camera for a rock school London ukulele examination. For a drum, and this time, for the first time in the history of notes and chords, uh, we will be giving out some drum examinations as well. So this can be a position that you can concentrate where all the drum hardwares are visible, including the face of the candidate. Uh, so we, we didn't have uh, one of our candidates performing till now. So I just took a picture from the internet, which had a decent view. So sincere apologies for that. And there you go. The last one is a Trinity College violin performance. And you can see the book is visible, candidate's face is visible, her position, bowing, left hand, everything is visible. So always see that your techniques are visible if you're performing uh, an instrument. And for vocals, your face is absolutely visible on camera. Moving on to our next slide. Yes. After completing your examination syllabus, that is now we are coming to a section where how the examine, how you can do your examination or how you can attempt your examination at home. So this time, after you have finished your syllabus, that is three pieces and your technical exercises, you have to have a minimum of four rehearsals with your respective teacher. I am going to repeat that once more, four rehearsals of the whole performance of piece one, piece two, piece three, and your technical exercises with your assigned teacher. Once the rehearsals are complete and you get a green signal from your teacher, you can proceed to recording your performance. Either you can perform at home and send me the recording, or you can book a slot at notes and chords, uh, we, we will help you out in the recording procedure. But you will have to book a slot with us well in advance to avoid confusion at the last moment. So I'm just going to repeat that you will have to book a slot with us. You will have to inform us early so that we can uh, make arrangements for whatever instrument that you are going to perform. I hope that's clear. Yes, so once you have recorded and you are absolutely satisfied with your recordings, send in your videos through WhatsApp as a document file. Now up to 2 GB can be sent through WhatsApp. You can send your videos to my mobile phone, which is displayed over here. And I'll be sending you a PDF version of the slides that are displayed here. So don't worry, you don't have to take a picture for the time being. but you are welcome to do so right now itself. <clears throat> but I would always encourage you to have three takes, three takes of the whole syllabus video, piece one, piece two, piece three, and your technical work, three good takes and send me one of your best takes, best out of three. I will go through the video once. And if I'm satisfied with the video, I'll keep it. In case of any, any retakes, I shall let you know and you can send me one more, okay? Attempt not more than three in a day. I had a student last time. I just wanted to share this right now. Uh, I had a student last time. Uh, sh she was an absolutely great student. I uh, was doing a grade four with me. So um, after... For completing her uh, rehearsals, I asked her to take a video of her performance and there was silence, total silence for one week. And finally, she sent me one of her videos and it was good enough. But to a great shock, uh, she said after two days that she'll be discontinuing the whole music education program. So I was, I was quite curious of what 
what went wrong i mean she quite but she performed quite well as well so i was just wondering what went wrong so her parents told me that she got so tired of uh, getting an absolutely uh, perfect video she took almost 80 to 90 takes at home and that seemed to have uh, an adverse effect on music learning so don't stress yourself uh i mean human errors are bound to happen when you take a video if you find that your video is pretty decent and you have some mistakes in between it's fine send it over no problem i mean we all are human beings i do understand so restrict yourself to taking uh three takes in a day and once you've got a good video send it over okay so restrict yourself in taking three videos and not more than that in a day don't wear yourself out do not be tensed yes and now for the submission dates all examination videos should reach by 25th of january 2024 last time i gave you a deadline everyone was uh, um, not very keen on meeting the deadlines but this time it's going to be strict january 20 Uh, 25th 2024 is going to be your last date for sending in all your performances yes and now uh we can listen to one of our former student slash teacher i'm really i'm really happy to have matthew matthew j with us today uh briefing you on uh why grade examinations and why do you have to go through grade examination i i usually get a lot of questions that is why should we do grade examination should we just learn music uh matthew will explain to you uh why grade examinations are so important and matthew is right now joining us from uk and uh, he is a sound engineer right now and i'm really proud that one of our former students our teachers teaching at notes and chords have made it as a musician in life and he wants to pursue music for the rest of his life so over to you matthew thank you for the introduction sir <laughs> that was very sweet thank you um, so much yeah um yeah guys i uh, i hope all of you understood was uh, what anson sir was going through about the uh, grade examination stuff but um i just want to tell you this brief you about what future you have with music you know now that's one big question everyone has that okay one one question we usually have is okay what's the point of writing a grade exam and the second question we usually have is okay what's the future in music connected to the grade exam so i just want to brief you on that uh, i just want to just um just say how i started so like anson sir said um i was a student in notes and codes um i also taught there for a year i'm i'm sure a couple of my students are here in the zoom call right now so i know one person i know caleb is there but i know a couple of people are there so um yeah I, in my gap year i was actually teaching through notes and codes and then i came here um to london college of music to do my recording mixing and production course um here right now and i'm doing my second year so um yeah one good thing about actually doing your grades is you can become a teacher yeah now that's a very rewarding job you can go to schools you can go to colleges you can teach in academies which is a very rewarding job uh it feels very good to actually share the knowledge you have with your younger students or older students it's it's a very good feeling but another thing you have from doing all of this music course it's actually getting into music production films and all of those kind of stuff now um if you don't know what music production is it's basically doing music for songs or films or movies or whatever it is so um if you have knowledge as a keys player as a guitarist um you know your chords if you have a song you can, if there's a singer you can play chords for them if you can do everything like that that means you can become a producer and producer means basically doing music for all of this now how uh, the trinity exams actually connect with all of these because the knowledge we get from doing all of the trinity exams that is all of us skills knowledge the chords knowledge and just the knowledge of actually handling things in pressure you know like when 
examinations are coming and I know that's a lot of stress for you guys to actually get things done. So that pressure of actually um, sitting in front of an examiner or handling with other peers, um, it automatically translates for you to have a good growth if you have a music certificate with you. Now, I know for a fact that when I'm here, I have a respect, you know, when I say, oh, I've done my eighth grade in keyboard, people automatically respect, have that respect without even hearing me play. So it's a good thing to have that kind of respect. When It's a good thing to for the peers to respect you without even hearing you play, you know, and you can earn that respect when doing your grade exams and everything. Now, uh, my particular field, which is audio engineering, although it is not directly related to any of the instruments, I know because I've learned keyboard, I completed my eighth grade and I've learned guitar, my ears are so much trained to hear things properly, to hear mistakes properly, to correct things properly. So that's how I made it. I'm doing it right now as a sound engineer, um, my course and everything. So. Yes, I just want to let you all know there's so much more than just being a teacher or just being a person who has a certificate in Trinity grade. Now, being a producer, we actually had uh, production classes. I think it was 2022, we had a badge where we actually taught uh, people how to do songwriting courses or how to actually produce music and how to mix music and everything. So uh, please look into it because I think it, it will be a really interesting, it's a really rewarding career. It's a really interesting career. And yeah, I hope uh, all of you will be interested soon to find out more about all of those. Yeah, that's it from me. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for a lot of insights that you have given us. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your experiences and thank you for yes. being here. Thank yes. you. <laughs> All right, so we are moving on to something that is really interesting, frequently asked questions. So we've got some questions, some really interesting questions, which I would like to give a general answer because I usually get a lot of questions, but some I think Matthew has answered, but still I would like to go through these questions. Uh, the number one question that I get from students and parents need for graded examinations. Yes, I, I know you guys are here because of grade examination. So I would like to just give you some uh, general points. Uh, graded examination serve as, uh, you know, a good structured framework for assessing and measuring a student's progress and skill level in music. And that's really important. Just like school, um, um, I'll tell you a case. I'll, I'll tell you a case where... Um, uh, recently, I had a chat with uh, some of our parents. Uh, as you all know, we have Carnatic lessons also here. And um, the one thing, uh, I, I'm not trying to blame anyone and I'm not trying to, you know, find fault with any people over, or, I mean, who is learning Carnatic music or anything. I'm not trying to look down upon uh, Carnatic music, but um, there were a lot of people quitting Carnatic music. Uh, because of the fact that uh, some might not have enough experience or enough uh, skill level to go through all the ragas uh, or all the training that is involved. Some might feel that it's a little, um, little intimidating. And, and yes, you don't have uh, music, a lot of music involved and a lot of theory like ragas uh, and varnas involved in them. So um, the interest level of candidate slowly starts falling down. Uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say that I'm not looking up, down upon Carnatic music. No, not at all. But that's where a graded music exam syllabus comes in. It tries to understand the level of a beginner to an intermediate level to an advanced uh, student so that you know each and every through each and every grade the student goes through something challenging but not too challenging as well so you've got some really interesting songs a set of scales to be performed and for live examinations you have oral tests or ear tests coming in so a little bit of sight reading note learning so it's like the best of everything so you go through each and every aspect according to your particular level or what level you are in at the moment 
So that's why uh, there is a need for graded examinations. Yes, for sure. Now, the second question that I get a lot of time is, uh, yes, graded examinations are there, but why do you have to go through the lower grade examinations? Why can't we just go for a grade four or grade five directly or go directly to grade eight? Uh, the answer to that question is slightly complicated, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible. It's just like this. Uh, I have gone to a school where at the end of the year of every single class that I've attended or every single grade that I've attended, I have an annual examination. It's an annual summing up or rounding up uh, where I get to learn each and every aspect uh, again, once again, uh, starting from uh, June onwards till maybe February or March. So it's a revision of all the stuff that I've learned so far. And then it's building my foundation step by step. So every single grade has its own level. Every single grade, say for example, a student has completed initial grade or grade one or grade two. The student at that particular level needs a revision, needs a revision whatsoever. The problem right now is if you don't attempt an examination in initial grade or grade one, you're going to forget what you have learned in grade initial and then you move on to grade one if an examination was not taken. So some of the scales will be forgotten, some of the chords that you have learned will be forgotten, some of the songs you have learned will be forgotten and you have not a great foundation in the lower grades. And once you reach higher grades, then that's going to be a problem. Then that's, that's where the problems are going to arise. So the need for doing lower grades is super important. Third question, last date for submissions. As I already told you, that's January uh, 25th, 2024. Now, this is a repetition of what I've just mentioned. How many takes should I uh, go for for a perfect video? Best of three. The best of three is all what you need. If you have finished four rehearsals with your respective teacher, best of three is all that you need. So please keep that in mind. Do I need an original book? Yes, only for Trinity College examination. That includes your vocals, rock and pop, uh, keyboard examinations. For guitars, no, if you're doing a rock school examination, no, you don't have to. For ukulele, you don't have to. For drums examination, if you're doing with uh, uh, Trinity College London, yes, you need to have. For violins, if you are doing your examination with Trinity College London, yes, you need to have your original books. All right, so I hope I'm clear. And now it's question time. So I am opening it to everyone. We have 15 minutes for question answer session. If any of you wants to ask me any questions, I'm open for a question answer session. Yes. Any questions, anyone? Sir. Yes, tell me. Can you send the link for the grade four book? Link for the grade four book. Uh, for this, this is this is vocal keyboard. Who, who is speaking up? I can't see. Uh, vocals. Yes, sure. It will be given to you in the group in your respective group. Yes, it will be given to you. It's available on Amazon, but uh, yeah, uh, there are several copies flying around, which you should keep away from. I'll send you a link for the original book from Amazon itself so that you can get, but you know, uh, shipment times may vary. So please be careful about that. That's all. Yes, any more questions? Come on, any more questions? Uh, so for uh, exams that are conducted at the Norton Card School itself, mm. we can only, um, we can only request a slot after three rehearsals. Uh, no, not three. I mentioned four. Yes. Four, so you four have rehearsals. to you have to have four rehearsals with your respective teacher, and then you can book a slot with our admin. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Yes, Ivana, please. Yeah, so I mean, uh, the, the rehearsals with the teacher, like how do yeah. we plan it out? I mean, do we have to take any particular slots for that? Or does that happen along with the normal class? No, time? no, no, no. Uh, you're talking about online lessons, right? So That's I think right, I'm yeah. not clear about that. Yes, for online lessons, I'll be handling the rehearsals. Once you have finished up your portions, that is, all okay. three songs, I shall be handling those rehearsal sessions with everyone. So don't worry. Okay, about. okay. You don't so have to book a slot. You don't have to do anything on that. Okay, no, no. no. Thank you. If you are if you are planning to do the examination at our academy over here, for that you have to book a slot, not for the okay. rehearsals. Okay, for the rehearsals, it will be handed in the class itself. That means yes, it will be All done right. during your session itself. Yes. Yeah, that answers. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Caleb, do you have? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Is there a dress code when they take their video? Mm, great question. Uh, no particular dress code, but if you are attempting a classical examination, it's good if you are in a formal dressing. I mean, a shirt, pants, or a formal dressing will be uh, apt for the session. If you're doing a rock and pop, you can have a t-shirt and a jeans. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I know some of the teachers might be very keen on having white shirt and black pants. No, you don't have to have white shirt and black pants. Any more questions, anyone? We have time. So if you have any more questions. I guess no more questions. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope there are no more questions, no more doubts. If you have any more after the session, please do feel free to contact me through WhatsApp or during our regular classes. I'll be available. So I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm always there to answer all of your questions regarding your examination, your deadlines, all of the stuff. Okay. So don't worry about it. If you have anything, feel free to text me later on. Matthew, once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for enlightening us with a lot of information. No worries, sir. <laughs> a pleasure. Having a us. Okay, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. And now it's time to wind up. Good night, everyone. See you on during your Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye -bye. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Bye bye. Bye, sir. Bye -bye. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.